to KSSH News at Noon. I'm Karen Coronado. And I'm Joe Partridge. Last week, we heard from one of the board members targeted in a recall election. This week, we've got that board member that started the recall. Here's Maya Bullis. Hey Santa Sue, Maya Bullis back again. Today we have in our studio, Trustee Dan White, the board member who initiated the recall of two of his colleagues. Thank you for being here, Trustee White. Please outline your grievances and any remedies you pursued before you resorted to this recall. Thank you, Maya, and thank you for having me here today. The, the biggest issues that, that we have with the recall and, and why uh, we're pursuing this uh, action is to solve issues with respect to transparency on the board and, and the basically secret meetings that we believe that, that I know that are, that are going on, and as well deal with certain issues related to declining enrollment and, what, and its causes. So over the last 12 years, we've seen almost 3,000 students leave our district for other options. So as the total school age population in Simi Valley has increased, the enrollment has decreased by almost 3,000 students. When that happens, the revenues that are funded by the state go down, and then that results in teacher layoffs, educational programs that are cut, in general frustration amongst the staff, the parents, and the students, and it creates enormous financial pressure on our district. But I think that that is primarily from our leadership not listening to the needs of the parents. Specifically, why did you choose trustee Collins and Sandlin instead of the other two? What I had observed through this process of trying to acquire data and then bring it forward for discussion and to find other answers, to also get more input from the community, what I had found is that there was a tremendous desire just to talk about the things that were positive. And any other discussion other than what was positive was a threat to the school district. However, this is our boardroom. This is where we're supposed to make decisions. This is where, where we're supposed to govern. How much money will this recall cost? What we're trying to do is put that so that they can have the recall during the June election, which it already deploys all of the poll stations and the staff that's required to that. And so what we believe that cost might be is closer to probably forty or $45,000. If the board doesn't schedule it on the June election, then the estimate is 260000 That's a lot. However, the scope of the problems, I believe, are to the tune of $15 million a year and more, and tens of millions of dollars being mismanaged on the bond. Of the 12,000 signatures you will need to proceed with the recall, how many do you have so far? We don't have any so far, but we haven't started the process yet. So we've submitted the, the petitions into the County Office of Elections, and they've gone back and forth with us. It's a, it's, there's a bit of complexity to it, and uh, we believe that next week when we start the petition circulation process, uh, we'll be able to gather those petitions within a short period of time. We have 160 days to do it. Thank you for coming, Mr. White. Thank you, Maya. It's the big game. It's the civil war. And we're right in the middle. Joe Partridge here at Simi High School. Are you ready to learn some football? What are they doing? This isn't football. Hey, handball. This isn't what I came to see. And is that armor that they're wearing? I thought this was supposed to be a man's sport. Wait, that's a goal! 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 Wow, that was fun! I didn't even feel the quake. Rosinda Rios here. We just took part in the American Shakeout. Let's go talk to Miss Maya to learn more about it. What is the American Shakeout? The American Shakeout is the opportunity to practice the drop, cover, and hold earthquake drill across the United States. Why did we take part in the American Shakeout? We took part on the American Shakeout today uh, as a way to build awareness and to protect ourselves in the event of an earthquake. How widespread is it? Well, this year, 9.1 million Californians have been registered for the Shakeout. Internationally, however, 22.2 million have registered and participated with us today. We're resurrecting Fashion Police for its third straight year. 
with a twist. Watch this. Emily Chesinski here, and we're here to find out how our staff members used to dress when they were in high school. How would you describe your high school style? My high school style is much different than it is now. I used to wear like really baggy pants and belts and then tank tops. Did you ever get in trouble for violating dress code? I did. Um, junior and senior, my look changed a little bit and I was made the example of what not to wear in high school. I think my style in high school was more of a punk um, mixed with sports style. I used to wear Dickies pants and a Dickies jacket with a bunch of patches of punk bands and, and spikes and studs on it. It never really fit me when I was a kid. It was always kind of short on my arms, but I used to wear it all the time. How would you describe your high school style? <sighs> That's a good question. I would describe it as a nerdy farmer who has big hair. So. Hot? I mean, come on. That equals hot. I've been waiting for this one all my life. And here it comes. August Braddock here at Filmstock. Let's ask some people what they're excited to see tonight. I'm excited to see the new student films and old ones. I'm here to see all the films my friends put a lot of work into. Well, I'm excited for Filmstock because I have a film in Filmstock right now. Uh, we're excited to see our friends' films. Yeah. Filmstock just ended. Let's see what the people think. I enjoyed the intensity of the films. It was really great. I really enjoyed the entire thing and everyone's reactions were pretty awesome. I, I was legally obliged to be here. We thought it was good. Uh, everything was really impressive. All of the filmmakers are mind-blowingly amazing. Uh, except for any dead dog scene, I was crying. Back to you in the studio. This next story is not to be missed. Watch this. Hey Santa Sue, Emily Radke here. Last week, Miss Maya spoke in front of our school board about our Troubadour Advisory Program. Clark Kidd, members of the board, Dr. Scarlett, cabinet. Uh, my name is Wendy Maya and I'm principal at Santa Susanna High School. Uh, tonight, it is my pleasure to present to you um, information about our Troubadour Advisory Program. Um, TAP is a class. It meets two times per week for 20 minutes. TAP is provided uh, through a modified block schedule in which students meet six periods a day, three days a week, and three periods a day in a block schedule twice a week. This also allows for that 20 minutes of TAP. Each week we have a KSSH news and announcements. Uh, you may have seen some of our news reporters in the back this evening. Um, uh, in the last two years, there have been similar programs developing both at Simi Valley High School and this year at Royal High School. Uh, with that, if you are interested in more information, please uh, check out our school website at santasusanna.org or you're welcome to contact me. Uh, and thank you. Santa Sue is known for its outstanding theater department. In 2012, 25,580 people were killed in traffic accidents. Here's Rosendo Rios with the story. Rosendo Rios here in front of the PAC, where a representative from Impacting Drivers just gave a presentation to the juniors. Let's go find out what it's all about. So Impacting Driving is a assembly for the juniors uh, put on by Martha Tesmer about uh, distracted driving. Uh, 
I believe it really hits home because uh, her son uh, died from reckless driving, and uh, it just provides a really good look of what distracted driving can do uh, to young drivers. Boy, am I glad we don't have star testing this year. Let's join Maya Bullis with its replacement. Hi Santa Sue, Maya Bullis here with Miss Ledesma to talk about why star testing won't be around anymore or ever again. There's a new test this year because we're trying to correlate it with the new standards that are coming out. Basically, we're setting up a new series of expectations for students and they're the same for all kids no matter where you live in the state. And this new test is going to test you on those new expectations. What makes the new test better? It's different is what it is. Um, this time it's all on the computer. So you're going to have to type your answers. You're going to have to drag and drop things, use a calculator on the screen. Um, and it's also testing you your deeper knowledge of the, of the content. You're not going to just get to pick from a series of A, B, C, or D. You're going to have to explain yourself. What will the test be like? It's going to ask questions that are more open-ended. Um, it's going to ask you to explain your answer. You get the most of the points for each question on how well you explain yourself, not that you got the actual answer. My advice is just to do your best. Relax, do the best you can. Um, it, the, the tests are different. It's going to take us time to adjust to the new kind of tests. And also, this year is like a trial run of the test to see how they play out. So it's not going to count against you. Just do your best, relax, and it'll be fine. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Yep. Hi guys, I'm Nico Costanzo, and for my senior project, I'm going to be teaching a German class from uh, November 5th to November 21st, one hour after school in room 407 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you can sign up right now in the student store. So, so Ian in, in studio. It's not paranoia if they're really trying to get you. Here's a message from Key Club. So did you go to the party last night? Oh my god, yeah I did. It was oh so my god, so fun. fun. Okay, so a while ago during second period, Bernice got like tagged or like pinned with one of these things. Like I don't know what it is or like where she got it from, but yeah, it was really weird. is upon us. That's the way it is. October 17th, 2013. One day before the end of the first quarter. Don't forget about tomorrow's talent show, Troubadours. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Santa, Santa Sue. Sue. Be sure not to miss tomorrow's talent show. Mm -hmm.